We will solve Irudu problem 152, chapter 1. In this problem, there are two masses which are connected by a spring. K is the spring constant. A force F is applied on mass 2 and the movement takes place. We have to find the maximum separation between the two masses. Now for solving such problems, always take reference point and take a displacement value wherein u that is the extension in the spring would be equal to x2 minus x1 minus L0. x2 minus x1 is the instantaneous length at any instant the length L dash is x2 minus x1 and extension is L dash minus L0. At t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, u is 0. There was no extension at t is equal to 0. The force is applied on the mass 2 starting t is equal to 0. And you can also see at t is equal to 0, the velocity v1 and v2 are also 0. You have to take velocity not equal to 0, not equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, only in such conditions where in the problem it is given that at t is equal to 0, this much velocity is imparted. Until unless that is given, you have to take velocity 0 at t is equal to 0. So these are just the initial conditions and these problems can be best solved by using this method. Now take both the bodies separately and apply the forces equation. Now this is moving towards that direction and this is also moving because we have taken x1 and x2 positive in that direction. So m1 a1 this is acceleration of a1 would be equal to how much? the spring, spring force, the force being exerted by a spring on M1 which is K times the extension in the spring which is U. This is the extension in the spring. What is M2A2? M2A2 force F is enabling the motion so F is positive but the spring will pull it back last time like in case of n1 the spring is pulling it like this in this the spring will pull it back when it is stressed stretched so it is minus a u what is a1 is x1 double dot means double differentiation of x and similarly a2 is x2 double dot so x1 double dot is equal to AU upon M and X2 double dot is equal to F minus AU upon M2. This is M1. Follow the steps very clearly. Use these steps. It becomes very easy. Now U is equal to X2 minus X1 minus L0. Double differentiate it. This is constant. It vanishes. So it becomes u double dash is equal to x2 double dash minus x1 double double dash. So far it is clear. Now we know the value of x2 double dash and x1 double dash. Place it here. u double dash is equal to x2 double dash is f minus ku upon m2 minus x1 double dash is ku upon m1 is equal to f upon m2 minus u k 1 upon m1 plus 1 upon m2. It is coming like this. So u double dot 
is equal to f upon m2 minus u k times this is m1 plus m2 upon m1 m2 and place this as equal to 1 upon mu where mu is m1 m2 upon m1 plus m2 we call it reduced mass whenever there are two masses connected to the spring take mu is equal to m1 m2 upon m1 plus m2 and this is called reduced mass now place the value here so u double dot is equal to f upon m2 minus k u upon mu now in this case place this value to some other variable these are the steps which need to be followed so place take z is equal to f upon m2 minus k u upon mu double differentiate it you get z double dot this is constant it vanishes equal to minus k u double dot upon mu place it here what is u double dot is z double dot into mu upon k minus is equal to z bring z on this side it becomes plus plus is equal to 0 so it is nothing but equation of simple harmonic motion plus k upon mu into z is equal to 0 this is the simple harmonic equation this would be equal to omega square is equal to k upon mu or omega is equal to k upon mu under so we are nearly done now start from here we have obtained the equation of simple harmonic motion now see what is to be done when you get such kind of equation where z double dot z double dot plus omega square z or y or x anything double differentiation of y plus omega square y is equal to 0 if you get such kind of equation it can be z it can be x it means it's a simple harmonic equation and then you can write z is equal to k this is the general equation you can write plus b sin omega t now what was the value of z oh, we have rubbed it but I think z was equal to f upon m2 minus k k m1 plus m2 upon m1 m2 this was the value of z and this we had taken mu that was the value of z we had kept place it here so minus k u upon mu is equal to minus f upon m2 plus a sin omega t plus b cos omega t. multiply by minus sign both the sides so you get this this becomes minus and this also becomes minus now at t is equal to 0 u was 0 if you place the value of t as 0 so t0 means this is 0 this is 1 this is 0 so 0 is equal to f upon m2 minus b so we have got the value of b b is f upon m2 we have to place the initial condition to get the value of these constant a and b now at t is equal to 0 both the velocities are also 0 if you differentiate it k upon mu u dot is equal to minus a omega cos omega t plus f upon m2 omega sin omega t 
place the value of t is equal to 0 so everything gets eliminated here and you get a omega is this much and what was u dot u dot was x2 dot minus x1 dot both are 0 x2 dot x1 dot are the velocity initially so u dot is 0 it means this is 0 means a is equal to 0 so the equation which we are getting is k u upon mu is equal to f upon m2 1 minus cos omega t or you can get value of u is equal to f into mu upon k into m2 1 minus cos omega t omega is root k upon mu when this will be maximum u is nothing but the extension and if you want x2 minus x1 that is a separation x2 minus x1 is equal to u plus n0 so maximum separation we have to find that is maximum of this maximum will happen when u is maximum when is the u maximum in this equation it is very easy you differentiate it and du upon dt is equal to mu f upon k m2 this becomes sin omega t into omega is equal to 0 this will be 0 when t is equal to 0 there are two things when t is equal to 0 or t is equal to 5 maxima occurs when t is equal to pi because you put t is equal to pi here it will be 1 plus 1 this becomes 2 so u maximum is when t is equal to pi which is twice mu f upon k m 2 and the maximum separation is x2 minus x1 which is this plus L0. So this is the maximum separation which is taking place. What is its value? You just place the value of mu and you get the solution. So maximum separation is x2 minus x1 is equal to twice F upon K M2 and value of mu is m1 m2 upon m1 plus m2 and this was plus n0 m2 gets cancelled so it becomes twice f m1 upon k m1 plus m2 plus l0 this is the maximum separation between the two bodies and that's the answer to the problem. Do these problems two three times, solve this two three times using this method, it will settle in your mind and then you will start finding it very easy. So that's all. Thank you.